Fox 10, I hope you had a wonderful Saturday. I know I sure did. It was a beautiful day out there. Temperatures were well above our average into the mid 50s. As we start to wind down for our Saturday night, though, we are talking about a chance for some rain, even some snow at this point. I think it's more of a chance for some light snowfall as we head into our early morning. We're going to have a nice cold air mass move in means our temperatures are unfortunately going to get much colder than we saw today. As early as tomorrow, we could see a 20 degree swing within those temperatures and also those flooding concerns are always in the picture and we do have a chance for that flood warning that's going to be sticking around for the next few days with all that precipitation. But right now, as we look at the storm team 10 storm tracker, you can see that Frontal boundary just off to our northwest. It hasn't moved all that much over the last few hours. So some areas like Lafayette could be catching a good amount of snowfall rain off to the west by closer to Springfield. Uh, as we get through the night, this will slowly start to edge and push its way off to the east. So areas in the northern portion of Vermilion County Park, Putnam, and even right here, we can get a chance for some rain showers and even that snowfall as we head into the overnight hours closer to midnight. As for now, though, I think it's going to be very light in nature as we scan through the clouds and radar over the throughout most of the day and really the last 12 hours or so. You can notice it just kind of sits right there around that I-70 corridor. Hasn't pushed off to the southeast quite yet. Now, I think we'll have a good chance to see that once again as we get closer towards midnight, but nothing much more than possibly a half an inch. I think we'll just have a few flurries, though, and maybe even a mixture of rain and some uh, freezing rain. So temperatures for our highs today were in the mid-50s. It felt really nice. Almost all of us were in the 50s for our afternoon, even 61 degrees for Flora. So it was just a wonderful day, and temperatures, though, have been starting to cool off, 40s and all the way down to the upper 30s right now, right around 38 degrees, and that's where most of us are sitting. Some of us in the 40s, Robinson around 40 degrees, Linton at 40, 42 as we're heading into our late Saturday night, and we'll have those conditions to slowly keep on getting colder and colder as we head into Sunday morning. Like I said, we do have a flood warning, and those are the counties in green, so pretty much all the rivers throughout the Wabash Valley do have a chance to see some minor flooding, and that's kind of where we are right now. The Wabash Valley right here, uh, the Wabash River rather, right here in Terre Haute, sitting right around 19 feet, a little bit lower as you make your way further off to the south. Now, here's the future cast, and this is right around 11 p.m. As we head into the overnight hours, you can see that start to press off to the east. We'll open up by tomorrow morning. A few clouds will be passing by by the time we reach further on into our Sunday. Those clouds are just going to kind of stick around. Won't have a chance for any sort of precipitation over the next few days or so. 26 degrees tonight, like I said, a chance for some light snowfall. 35 degrees come tomorrow, so right around 20 degrees colder, and then 16 degrees by Monday morning. Oh, wow. 31 degrees come Monday, Tuesday, 32 degrees. A very nice day come Wednesday with a lot of sunshine. And as we're on the kind of topic of some sunshine come Wednesday and some colder temperatures, you like those? They're not bad, really. I I'm love kind them. of a fan. I think they're pretty good. They look cool. They, they, look pro cool they probably look better on you. <laughs> they probably look better on you. All right, stay with us. News 10 will be right back.